I feel like the best thing about the Beck community is that it's a large community, but it's a small town feel. Parents care about the kids and neighbors, no neighbors. There's a great connection between community and the schools. The school is the hub of the community. Everywhere families are supportive and they're, they're involved. We have outstanding community support. When there's a need at our district, financial, a volunteer, our community steps up right away. This area is a wonderful place to live and we're going to continue to grow. We have both open enrollment as well as our growing population. We're short on some classrooms throughout the district. We have a lot of maintenance that needs to be done. We need to improve our safety and security. All the buildings have the opportunity to really improve from this. We worked alongside our community members to take our long-range financial plan into consideration during this process. Due to the expiring debt, this is a net zero tax impact and district residents and property owners would not see an increase in property taxes above the current tax rate. This plan will address space and program needs, complete district-wide deferred maintenance improvements, provide additional capacity at the middle school to solve capacity needs at all grade levels within the district, create a new transportation facility, and complete other district-wide improvements to better serve our students, staff, and community members. It's really replacing debt that's getting paid off, the principal and interest, with new debt, and then replaces that same tax amount that was there before. So if the referendum passes, the residents, taxpayers, will not see an increase in their property taxes for the school district. Another key area that we're going to focus on is our CTE addition at the high school. The current space we have for CTE, uh, it was designed in 1994. For the last 15 years, we've been a three-man department working in a space for a 1.5-man department. We've repurposed a special ed classroom, a storage area. We've been very flexible with our spaces, but the spaces were not designed for CTE. Having spaces designated for engineering or robotics, you know, we'll be able to be more purposeful with our spaces, more purposeful with our equipment, so the experiences that the kids have are more real world and more applicable as they leave Becker High School. Our facilities are, are in decent shape. We just need to catch up on some of our deferred maintenance. There are certain areas that are past their warranty. There's a few roofs that are you know, past their warranty. There's the heating and ventilation system in the intermediate building that's past its point of being efficient anymore. It's just a building list. And if you don't take it day by day, it turns into an emergency, whereas we can go at this, clean these up, bring everything up to date. We have something new to start with, and the next 10 years will be great. To meet those needs, the safety, security, the class sizes, deferred maintenance, and keep under budget and keep at that 37.5 million, the thing we had to do was shift some of our classes around. We're looking at including a grade configuration of adding fifth grade to our middle school. We also are excited about including them within our middle school family. Providing lots of opportunity for the kids is important, but then looking at how they're going to interact in the future as they become community members themselves, uh, it, that transition is, is very important. And it's not a what we can't do, but okay, what can we do and what can we do to do it better? The schools are kind of the, the focal point, so that makes sense that we want to maintain the focal point of our community. They're our future. I mean, I think it comes right down to is it's our future.